Cause if you're with me, where you at? Notification squad, where you at? Make sure you click that check mark box so you can be notified of my content when it's first uploaded. If not, we coming for you, nigga! What is up, Nola Squad? I am Nola God, and welcome to another episode of the SVR 2008 walkthrough featuring John Moxley. So in the last episode, uh, King Booker and Mr. Kennedy tried to prevent Moxley from making it to WrestleMania. And uh, after that match, Rated RKO interfered and attacked Batista and Moxley during their tag team match against Kennedy and uh, King Booker. And I believe afterwards, we ended up having a tag team match between Moxley, Batista, and who was it? I think it was Edge and Kennedy. One guy from Raw and one guy from Smack. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, we have a few matches left, man. I hope this is not the end. This possibly could be the last episode. I'm not sure. I think this story might continue. I don't know because I feel like there's more to the story that we haven't seen yet. But um, yeah, WrestleMania is right around the corner. We got a few SmackDowns left. But um, let's get to it. And and, and also in the last episode, we found out that at WrestleMania, it's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one match between Moxley and Batista. It's going to be a six-man elimination chamber featuring the six guys I mentioned before. You know, King Booker. Mr. Kennedy, Edge, Orton, Batista, and John Moxley. And this could be a big challenge for Moxley because, you know, Moxley been, he been, he, he seemed a bit injured as of late, so. Alright, y'all, so it's March 19th. We got a message from home. Let's see, Stephanie, our pound of flesh. A lot of fans were looking forward to seeing you and the champ go at it one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. Same here, I was but looking forward to it myself. Elimination Chamber match they won't get to see it. So to make up for it, I'm putting you two in a one-on-one -on -one match this week. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, so we getting the match that was supposed to happen at WrestleMania. Moxie versus Batista on SmackDown. Okay. I'm still, you know, I've been holding this grudge against Batista for a while. I'm going to let it out in this match. I'm going to try to whoop his ass, basically. But after the match, Moxley and Batista could shake hands, and they could be cool after. Once Moxley wins, so... And guys, did you guys hear about 2K21 being canceled? Man, I'm I'm not too surprised that they they need the they, I'm glad they canceled it because they need the they need to re-innovate a lot of shit and get things back on track. Cause 20 was just a disaster. It was a mediocre. I really hope if you guys haven't been paying attention to my community my community tab, I recently shared this link where someone started a petition to continue the 2K19 online servers, and uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if that's going to convince 2K to keep it going, but uh, that's like the only type of hope we have to keep in the 2K19 servers alive. You know, if y'all want to check out that link, man, make sure y'all just go on my community tab and click the link, sign the agreement, and boom. But I really hope they keep 19 servers up since 21 is not coming out this year. And I don't know where I read it from or where I heard it from, but I think more players are playing 19 online than 20 online. So it makes sense to just keep it online, you know. If they shut 19 down then uh, it's going to be a lot of complaints. That's all I got to say. But anyway, Batista, we owe it to the fans. I hate to say it, but Stephanie's right about one thing. The fans have been waiting a long time for WWE's two greatest superstars to go head-to-head. -head. And we owe it to them to go out and give them the match of the year. Hey, yep. I wouldn't put it, on, put it on a match of the year, you know, category. I mean, it might be a decent match, but I don't see it being on a match of the year. I'm a, I'm gonna try to whoop his ass, I, I, but at the same time, I gotta be careful because I might be injured, and Batista could, he could easily just whoop my ass. You know, Batista OP in this game, he like a 94, and I'm like a what a 60, so I gotta be really, really careful. Let's check Moxley's uh, health. Let's see, his injury frequency is up there. Uh, he, he he's fatigued a little bit. We gonna let him rest. But the crazy thing is, you know, this resting may not even help because we face but we fighting Batista. He could easily just Re-injure Moxley. Here we go. We in Honolulu, Hawaii, man. And, and also, by the way, Moxley's picture look a little different because I finally changed his attire. I gave him the attire he wore against, uh, who was it? Elias on March 4, 2019 on Raw. He had the all black pants with the elbow pads and the wrist tape. I thought it looked pretty cool. I tried to do something a little. I tried to give him the 2015 white shirt and the blue pants, which was like his first attire. When he, when he went solo in the shield, but I didn't like how it looked in the game for some reason. 
Well, to me, it didn't look good on him, so I ended up just sticking with this attire. I think y'all gonna like it, though. It looked, it looked pretty cool. I had to delete a part of his facial hair in order to gain more points to, you know, nine days away from add the elbow this pass and the wrist tape, but yeah. Tonight we see the match we were supposed to get at WrestleMania. The champ and the number one contender one-on-one. -on -one. That should end their little partnership real quick. Of course, the championship will not be on the line in this match. No, but you can bet that both of them will be looking to do some serious damage here tonight. Yes, sir. It's about to go down. Batista versus Moxley. JBL, he want to see them niggas, you know, go at it. He, he wants the page to flip. He don't want them to be on the same page anymore. He's been preparing for this match ever since he won the Royal Rumble, but it's coming two weeks earlier than he thought. Yeah, and now we'll finally get a chance to see how he stacks up against the champion. The Mox. For the first time, well, not for the first time ever, because these two have fought like two times before. This this is probably going to be the last time ever we're going to see these guys in the same the same ring at like in a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, no, no, we might see that at WrestleMania. If, if Batista end up being the last man, and if I end up being the last man, it could be a one-on-one -on -one again, but, you know, we got a chance to finally, I got a chance to finally get my revenge of Batista after that prison beating, he, you know, he, he did to Moxley, you know, he busted him open, blooded him all up, he pounded his flesh, he ripped his flesh off his skull, it's time to whoop that ass, cuz. All right, here we go, the Mox versus Batista, okay. Here we go, oh, um, my starting this match off with the chops. So I hope everyone's been safe, you know, during this this, this COVID-19 virus that's been going around, you know. I'm 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 going to continuously bring it up just to remind people out there to, you know, wash your hands and, you know, use sanitizer, use soap, just keep just to keep people aware cuz I know it's it's people in the world that got like really bad. It's some people out there that got bad hygiene. And hygiene is very important, you know, and and this this virus I hope it teaches people a lesson to like, you know, really really take care of yourselves and Wash your hands and, you know, especially the younger people that that that, that just don't wash them, don't wash their hands after they use it or just don't take showers at all. That shit can, is very important right now. It's vital right now, so. Here we go. Uh, back suplex from Moxley. Okay, Moxley starting this match off good. So if I'm beating the crap out of Batista, come on. Come on. You think you the animal? I, I'm, I'm the big dog in this bit, nigga. Bro, if this was a no DQ match, we, man, I would have took this shit to the crowd, and that's the only downside of fighting Batista. He too damn heavy. Come on. Hell no, you ain't finna big boot me. Close. Whoa, and he reversed. And I'm red, bro. I'm red. Just like that, bro. Just like that, bro. No, nah. He probably was finna go for that pin. Oh, no, not the hammer throw. Oh, my gosh. Oh no no no! He's trying he's trying he's trying to bring back memories. Uh uh. Nope. You ain't about the prison beating uh, prison beat Moxley this time. Uh uh. Nope. Hell no. Mm, come on. Nope. I gotta evade them grapples like f real good. Cause uh, if he if he hit one strong move, one grapple move on me, that's game over, bro. I'm gonna have to play Tom and Jerry in this bit, which is basically run out the ring. You know, have him chase me a little bit, and then once I catch him off guard, I could just hit him. Batista, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Batista just, he, better, he finna throw Moxley across the ring and, oh my goodness. Doing damage to that rib area. I believe Moxley's injury is, uh, broken ribs, so. Come on. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, Moxley going for that Goldberg. Here comes the pain animation. Here we go. And neck breaker on Batista. Bro, he, he, it wasn't even a one. That man kicked out at zero. Nope, hell no. I gotta rely heavily on my strikes uh, and, and reversing. Oh my gosh, the hammer throw again! Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, Mox, come on, Mox! Oh no, don't pin me, don't pin me, don't pin me, don't pin me. Get your ass off me. Oh, here we go, perfect timing, I needed this. Come on, mm, slap his ass, slap his ass, slap his ass, slap his ass, come on. Uh. Come on, mmm. Beat his ass. Mm, mm, and drop kick. Moxley beating the shit out of Batista. Uh, Close line on his ass. Moxley going on top. Oh my gosh. And oh, he might reverse this. Oh, I saw that coming because my ability had just ended while I was in the air. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh, he just clotheslined the shit out of Moxley. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, hell no. Mm. Oh, I keep going for this. This is not going to work. I keep going for that same freaking... That's my second time going for that. Oh. Nah, no, get your ass off me. Get your ass. Oh, no. Yeah, that's game over, bro. That's it. That's game over. Oh, oh, oh. I reversed the pinfall. Come on. Come on. Get out the ring. I got to do this. I got to play smart. I got to. I got no other choice, man. Oh. Bruh, if he activate that powerhouse ability in the ring, that's game over, bruh. I'm staying out the ring, bruh. Uh-uh, nah. If I can. Run! Oh! Run! You ain't using that shit on me. Nope. Suicide dive, let's go. Woo. His, his his rampage ability ended way quicker than I thought. Two. Oh, Tisa with that elbow to the back. Three. Come on. So what y'all think about those recent releases from WWE, man? You know, that was a that was a big a big big shock in the wrestling world. I really was upset that they released Leo Rush because I he, he was one of the one of my favorites in NXT. Um. But I'm pretty sure, he, he, you know, if he go elsewhere, he'll still do pretty good, like AEW or any other company. That's the only company I could picture him in, to be honest, AEW. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Ref was on fucking, he finna be on nine. Come on, come on. Get your ass off me. Oh, my God. Oh, he just need nicely in his stomach. Goldberg need my ass. Come on. No, no, no. Moxley, get out of this. Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Shades of the prison beater from before. Yo. Oh, my. Huh, huh. Oh, I'm gone. Hell no. Get out the ring, Mox. Oh, that was a dirty move. Dirty move from uh, Moxley. Oh, no. Please don't act up. Oh, that's it, bro. That's game over. That's it. That's get. Uh, 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 oh wait. Okay, he, he hit me with a strike. Okay. If I can reverse this. Come on. Come on, game. Let me reverse. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Get out the ring, Moxley. Get out. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. I'm doing the best I could against this man. Oh my gosh, the best I could. Okay, he's orange now. I gotta focus on that head, cause that's you know that's what my finisher is you know aimed at the head. Get your ass off me, nah, David. Oh 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 oh, right in the back of his leg. Oh, you want to taunt? Hell no. Nah. Oh my stamina! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. What the? Hell no. Nah. Oh no! Oh, right in his back. I tried to reverse it. Oh my gosh! I tried to reverse that shit. That's why I stood there. Okay. Come on. Uh. Wow! I don't know how I missed that. Nope. Nope. Hell no. Nah. Here we go. Neck breaker. Come on. Come on. Mm. Drop kick. Get to. Come on. You mean shit, Batista? Come on, come on. Calm as a bit. Oh no. All right, swip. What's he going for? Oh, Meister got off. Meister just, he, he ate that shit like a boss. Oh, Meister's dragging him to the middle. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, here we go. Meister going for the first paradigm shift on Batista. Oh my gosh. This might be it. This might be it. I highly doubt it, but. One, two. And that's it. Let's go. That's it. Beat Batista off the paradigm shift, and he was still on orange. Probably one more move to his head. If he kicked out of that paradigm shift, probably one more move to his head, it would have made him critical. So, but we got him beat. Karma is a bit. I don't believe and oh, this. Oh shit. We're just getting word that these two are coming out here for a sanctioned tag team match. And after the way the champ and the number one contender just beat the heck out of each other. They're coming in here with a definite advantage. So the McMahon sent Rated RKO out here to add more damage to the damn plate. 
Moxley and Batista beat the hell out of each other. Now you got these two guys. They about to finish it off and make it worse. They trying to make sure these two guys are not in 100% shape at WrestleMania. We know Moxley's not going to be in 100% for sure. But, uh, you know, I don't know how Batista health is going to look at WrestleMania. But these two are trying to add more to the plate. So this, this could be a tough one. This could be a tough one. They should have came out to the rated RKO theme because they, they that the rated RKO theme isn't is in this game. That was a pretty dope mashup back in the day. But here we go, this unexpected tag team match between uh oh man, you see Moxie holding those those ribs. We got we gonna have to tag in Dave Batista. Batista's hurt as well. I wonder if this is I wonder if this is the same damage from the last match. Come on. Here we go. Uh, Nate Breaker on Orton. If I if I do get past it somehow, if I do survive this match with Moxley, I'm gonna have to uh beat the hell out of one of these guys. Like I gotta make sure nobody tagged and tag anybody else in. Like if I'm fighting Edge, I gotta I gotta turn Edge red. Mm. Oh, oh, that would have been nice if I could drop kick his ass. I tried to do it. That would have been nice. Nice tag team move. Hell no. Nah. What? He reversed the punch? I ain't never seen that reversal. Wow. Hell no. Nah. Get your ass off me. Get your ass off me, Edge. Get your ass off me, Edge. Get your ass off me. Oh, no. Oh. Yo, look. I got more damage to my body than I, than I should. What the? You see that? What the fuck? Bruh. What in the world? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I missed, that. I missed that completely. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was hoping he was going to walk into it as I was hitting it, but that didn't work out the way I planned it. Woo! Nice chop to the chest. Oh, a shit. Orton beat my ass. Uh, Batista? Come get this. Get this nigga. Oh, no. Oh, step to the face. and Oh, consecutive stumps to the face. Orton is trying to make sure he accomplished that task of making sure Mike don't make it to Mania. I'm running toward the step like this 2K19 or 20 or something, so I, you know, trying to walk up on the steps. Who's the legal man? Okay, Edge legal. Okay. Oh, wait, he got that. He got that. Oh, he got all of that. I completely forgot about that move. I thought it was, his finish was just a spear. Forgot that man had the execution. That's game over. That's it, bruh. That's it. That's game over, man. That's it. I'm all red. That's game over. That's it. He got all of that. He got every bit of that, bro. It looks like Shane McMahon's enforcers might not be as united as we thought. Typical raw egomaniacs. Both wanting all the credit and not willing to take any of the blame. I'm starting to wonder if the WrestleMania Elimination Chamber match might actually be every superstar for him. Shit, based off this cutscene, it is. Hey, that's for sure. Then the champ and the number one contender might have a fighting chance after all. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. They're still in there against four other superstars. Well, so Edge and Orton don't look like they're on the same page. What was that? I set up those two for your superstars just like Dad asked, Whoa, and your guys couldn't get the job done. Them. And you all right, you two. Well, if you Jane, get that right. massive ego of yours. Quiet! 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 I will not let those two tear this family apart. Stephanie, I want you to put each of them in a handicap match. Shane, you make sure your superstars work together with Stephanie. This is our last chance before WrestleMania to take them out. I want to see some results. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Vince, he's serious now. Vince ain't playing no more. He, 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 y'all need to make this shit work. Yeah, you know.